Step one in javelin throwing. The most important part of the javelin throwing is the javelin actually. Um, it's important to have the tip in front when you want to throw, not the tail. So this is the tail. Now you go with the tip and then you've got the cord. The cord is the part where you grab the javelin and you don't grab it like a pen or something. You grab it nice and easy. Fingers behind the grip so you have a nice pull here. Nice and easy grip like that. And then you're ready to go. And then we hold the javelin. Step two. So we need to accelerate. To make the javelin fly far, we need some speed. So we start to run. We hold the javelin in the normal position, nice and even, nice and straight, everything aligned into throwing direction. And then we just start to run like a normal run. You run into the throw and then there's this certain point when we come into the crossovers. This is the point where we pull back the javelin. It's an important step. You pull back nice and straight. You see the javelin in a nice, Angle, not like that, not too high, not too low, nice and even. You have the left arm in front and then you do the crossovers. So it's important to step with your center of gravity like over your feet, that's really important. One crossover, another crossover, another crossover. So in the step three, we came in from the nice and clean crossovers. We land on the accelerating foot. It's actually the same foot of your throwing hand. You come in here, land on the right and block with the left. That's a really important part. There is where the force comes from and the block breaks it all down. So you break onto zero. This is giving you a hard impact and it's important to have a straight knee. So step four, we are ready to throw. We are in throwing position and now it's important to turn your elbow up. You turn the elbow in the direction of your ear, your head and turn the elbow under the javelin. That's something to remember because this is what prevents injuries. If the elbow goes up, there's no problems. You're nicely aligned. The force has come from the hip, accelerate the javelin. And we use the tension to throw really far. So the last part and really important when it comes to competing is the white line. Don't step over the line. We need to get all the forces into the ground and we want to make sure we stand in front of the line, turn back and the referee sees, okay, no danger to the line. 